Hi and welcome to Learners. In this video, we will walk through with the settings menu of the Learners. Now before we move on into the settings, I told you that you can change your pack anytime. So click on this small little icon here and click on update pack. And from here you can change your cell courses, cell mock test or maybe both. Just go back onto the dashboard and we are going to focus on settings in this video. Settings is really important. You might want to change a few things here. For example, if your time zone is different, then you can select your time zone. According to what kind of users you will be serving, you might want to choose your video quality as low, medium or high. Learnest video player is smart enough to automatically determine and can make sure that video experience is always good. Then you can choose your default language with available options. You can also ask your users for the full billing address or maybe not. Based on the plan on which you are, you can also allow users for having multiple logins or not. Learners platform is fully complied with GST. So in case you are updated with GST, you can select it from here and can choose further options. Let's move on to the branding section now. Branding section is super important. You might want to use your logo and your favicons here. Just make sure you checked out the dimensions of the logo so your awesome logo looks still awesome on our website. Just click on the upload image and just drag and drop file. I'll drag and drop a file here. There is also an option of cropping the image, zooming it out and zooming it in. So make sure it looks awesome and then you can simply say skip cropping or save cropped image. I'm going to say skip cropping here. There you go. Your logo is now set. Now let's also set a favicon icon. Make sure you again check out the dimensions here. Click on the upload image and I'm going to just drag and drop an image here and I'm going to say skip cropping now it looks really weird here because the dimension of the favicon is always smaller just 16 by 16 but it's gonna look awesome then if you have social links like facebook twitter linkedin google plus and youtube you might also want to put them here just make sure once you are done with all of that you hit the save button saving all of the things are super important now once we are done with that we are going to move into the instructor section the instructor section in that you can just click on the add instructor and can provide information like photos, email address, mobile, instructor bio, his Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn account. You can also add him as a sub admin. Just an instructor and sub admin are two different things. Instructor is a just a filler which is going to be presented at your course page. While some admin has some authority on your website, not full, but he can change around a few things. So make sure you choose wisely whether you want to make somebody as instructor or sub admin. For right now, we're going to hit cancel. Then let's move on to the sub admin. Here you can add your sub admin who can take variety of advantages here. For more detail, ask our representative and he'll further guide you what sub admin is. Next up, you can select your payment gateway. We provide a variety of support for variety of payment gateways depending on what is your current currency is. If you want to change your currency, just click on the change currency and can click on USD, INR or variety of options being available. And you can just set any one of them. Right now, I'm going to just choose INR which is Indian rupees and I'm going to save changes here. You can choose between variety of payment gateway options and can just fill up few things here. Our staff is always happy to help you in connecting your payment gateways. Then we have embeddables. You can use Learners functionality, course signup and logins into your any of your existing website or blog if you want to. Moving on to the SEO facility, you can also give a sitemap which is really Google friendly and make sure that your website pops up when somebody searches for it. Further, you can mention your policies as well like terms of services, privacy policy, pricing policy and refund policies if you want to. Finally, we have billing address option. This is not super important as of now, but before you make sure that your website goes live, you might want to add up all the details here. Make sure you don't forget to hit the save button. And that's it. It's really simple. Now let's just go back onto the dashboard. So this was all a quick tour of the settings tabs. I'll walk you through with the other tabs in the later on videos. I'll catch you up in the next one.